So I've imported this file into my session, and now I want to cut out all of my mistakes, and I want to come out with a polished project that I can turn in. So the first thing that I notice is when I put it into this session that I've created, and I imported the audio as shown in the previous video, it shows up on this third track, which is labeled as this nonsense here. So what I'm going to do is I want to move it up to this track up here. When I do any sort of editorial tasks, I need to know the modes, which I covered in another video. I need to know the zoom functions, which I also covered in another video. But one of the main things that I really need to understand is my edit tools right here in the middle of my screen on the top. A few of these are a little bit more obscure than others. Usually the ones that you use are these three in the middle. There's a total of six. And then there is also a smart tool, which is a combination of three of them, which is similar to other editing programs. But the first one is the zoom tool. So the zoom tool allows you to zoom in and out on certain sections. You would get to that by hitting F5. Then you have the trimmer tool that allows you to trim off the beginning or end of a clip. Then you have the selector tool, which allows you to move your cursor or select part of a clip. This is one of the most common ones. You'd hit F7 to access that. Then there is also the grabber tool, also known as the hand tool sometimes. Access this by hitting F8. The grabber tool allows you to take a whole file and select it and or move it. So you can toggle through them by hitting the escape key, or you can hit the function keys starting with F5 for the zoom tool, F6, for the trim tool, F7 for the selector tool, F8 for the grabber tool. Then there's two other tools which aren't used as much by beginners, which are the scrubber tool and the pencil tool, which we'll cover in other videos. So let's see how these things work. I need to take this sound file, which had been added to its own track, and I need to highlight it, and then I need to move it up to the track that says Vox Scott. If I wanna move a whole file, then I would use my grabber tool. So I'm just gonna click on it. You can also hit F8 on either a Mac or a PC. Then I can just click and drag it up to this top track. I can see that I have a bunch of nonsense at the beginning. You can also use the trim tool. So the trim tool will only work on the beginning or the end. I said something at the beginning here, and then I have this quieter sound, and maybe I turned up the volume or something. So I'm assuming I don't need anything up until this point here. So I can grab the edge and then just drag it over. So that is using the trimmer tool here. So what I noticed also is this didn't slide to the beginning. It left it where it was. And it's because I am in slip mode, which I explained in another video. If I'm trying to edit out mistakes, sometimes shuffle is the best because what it'll do is it'll just slide everything over to the left side. So I'm gonna trim it off, and now you'll notice that it slides over to the left. Unless I have stuff that I can trim off the beginning or end, I can't really do much else with this tool. Of course, I can zoom in using the functions that I explained in the last video, and then I can see that there's a little bit more I can trim off, so I'm gonna trim it off to there. I can probably trim that off. Are you ready for this Valley Views up? All right, so I made another mistake. And I wanna move my cursor. So I'm gonna to move to the next tool, which is my selector tool. So if I click with my selector tool, I can put my cursor anywhere I want and I could start playing from there. Are you ready for this Valley View Automotive? I think that this is the beginning of the performance that I want. Another thing that selector allows you to do is it'll select part of a clip. So we saw with either of the other tools that when we edited the beginning off, it highlighted everything. When I used the grabber tool, it also highlighted the whole clip. One thing that's neat about the selector tool is if I click and drag with this, it allows me to only take part of the clip. It could be at the beginning, it could be somewhere in the middle, it could be at the end. I played it and then I figured out where the performance started. Are you ready for this? So that's the beginning of the performance. So then I can click and drag all the way to the left, and then I've highlighted the beginning, and then I can hit delete. So that's pretty much the same function as the trim tool. But the cool thing about the selector tool is you can also pull things out of the center. Are you ready for this? Valley View Automotive's got all the hottest SUVs you've been looking for. Enjoy a test drive and... So I made a mistake there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. 
Are you ready for this? Valley View Automotive's got all the hottest SUVs you've been looking for. Enjoy it. So I have this little breath here. I can take this out if I want. So I can just highlight over it, and then I can remove the breath even. It's got all the hottest SUVs you've been looking for. Enjoy a test drive and... Now I can click and drag to the next cluster here, and I can take out all the stuff in the middle, because my bad is that's a mistake too. All right, I made two mistakes. You can tell that I'm not exactly a voiceover talent. So the beginner move here is you could just click and drag. There's other ways to do this once you get more advanced. But for this first project, let's stick with this. And then I just hit delete. The hottest SUVs you've been looking for. Enjoy a test drive. Enjoy a test drive. I repeated that sentence again. Enjoy a test drive. Another thing that I can do, this little chunk that I need to take out is already sectioned off. I can double click it with the selector tool and it will highlight the entire clip. And then I hit delete. And then as long as I'm in shuffle mode, it's gonna slide everything over. Got all the hottest SUVs you've been looking for. Enjoy a test drive and the opportunity to drive. So pretty much the tool that you wanna use is the selector tool. And that's pretty much how you edit. To sum up, for the first project, the only ones you really need to know are these three. So the trim tool will allow you to trim off the beginning or end. It's going to highlight the entire clip though. Access this by hitting F6. The selector tool, you can access this by hitting F7. This allows you to move your cursor or you can highlight over part of a clip and then delete it. The grabber tool allows you to highlight an entire clip and move the whole thing. The most useful tool, to me at least, is generally the selector tool. If you are in shuffle mode, once you highlight over something with the selector tool and you hit delete, then everything is going to collapse to the left. And that is basic editing inside of Pro Tools. As we get deeper into the term, we're gonna learn more sophisticated ways to edit, but for now, this should get you through this project. I just wanna sort of get your hands on Pro Tools and doing some basic editing.